rather to renegotiate loans and stay liquid or look out for other investment options. Small and medium enterprises have to survive during these times of the COVID-19 pandemic. So how can they do so and even attempt to scale up during these times? Uh, we can now speak with uh, Ama Jampo and Olivia Isiedu-Nto, both with ScaleUp. Great to have you on our program uh, this afternoon. So let's begin with what ScaleUp is. Anyone? Hi, Daryl. Good afternoon, Hi, everyone. So ScaleUp Africa is a convener of ecosystem players across Africa and the diaspora. So we're really looking to provide more qualitative support to SMEs to enable them to grow. Mm -hmm. um, as an angel investor and working with other investors in the ecosystem, you know, the, the support that we are provide that we are getting for SMEs isn't quite fit for purpose. We're not seeing the job creation. We're not seeing the growth metrics that we need to see for the investment to properly come into the sector. So we are really looking to support uh, SMEs with corporations and foundations mm -hmm. to enable us to run, um, you know, corporate sponsored entrepreneurship training and development programs. We're also a convener of um, ecosystem players, as I said, Black. and so we have. A festival coming up at the Small Business Festival, uh, which will hope to showcase some of our talents, our technology, and opportunities in the ecosystem. So, uh, interesting that we are talking about scale up during these times. I don't think it's uh, something anybody wants to say during these times of the pandemic. But I've also heard that it's during a crisis that it, it is perhaps the best time to plan uh, ahead for the future. I don't know if you believe in that philosophy, but why should we be talking about scaling up during these times? Absolutely. I think one thing that you touched on briefly is the fact that there's been companies or organizations that have been able to grow and even thrive during a recession. So you take an example of a brand like um, Netflix or even um, um, Uber or even um, the online platform where you're able to, to, to rent, rent places for a short period of time, Airbnb. And it's purely because they need to tap into the purpose of what is currently happening around them. And it's not necessarily just about sort of making money, but it's understanding what the purpose of, of your business is and what you're trying to achieve and what you're trying to help your consumers, you know, achieve. So mm. it's looking at ways and means that you're able to tap into that. Because I think a lot of people go into business where they're thinking they want to make money, which is, you know, completely understandable, but also there needs to be an understanding of what is the true purpose of what you're trying to achieve. Why should somebody buy into your service? And I think now is the time for brands and big companies or SMEs to start tapping into how they're able to pivot and re-strategize, but understanding that they are working towards one, you know, purposeful goal of just, just showing their human side and just showing to consumers that we're in this with you, we're in the situation with you. And so trying to figure out how they can pivot and re-strategize to, to work alongside what, what, what their stakeholders currently need. Mm, and talk about re-strategizing, what are the options they can be looking at? Yeah, I think it's really important for SMEs to understand their core purpose, why they are doing what they're doing, what problem they are solving. And so having time like this, uh, you know, pandemic times to really critically think about that with your, you know, your product and your market, how do they actually fit together in a strategic way? Uh, everyone's talking about how we've accelerated digital mm -hmm. just in a couple of months you know, something that would have taken two years before the pandemic. Um, and so this is a great time for people to take that time mm -hmm. to go through the strategizing process and, and realign their businesses yeah. um, for the future. Because everyone's talking about building back better. Uh, corporations have a massive uh, role to play in, in, in terms of environmental, social governance issues. And so uh, for us, it's about really nurturing that relationship with big business yeah. to help small business. And that's really the engine of growth and where the jobs and, and economic growth um, opportunities lie. So that's what we're here for. OK. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and so you talk about uh, positioning small businesses to connect to big businesses. During these times, people are looking at whether or not they should, I mean, consider investors and all of that. What do you advise? I mean, investors are looking for growth at the end of the day. I mean, it, it's, you know, this is a troubling time for everybody economically, globally. It's, it's a challenge everywhere. The debate is shifting towards, you know, Black Lives Matter, economic equity. Um, you know, we import far too much as a continent, as everyone knows. So these are all opportunities for us to look more local. Uh, these are all part of the conversations that investors are having. And they're looking for more localized companies in terms of supply chain procurement opportunities to you know, improve the quality and consistency of SMEs performance, improving their productivity, uh, digitalization, of course, is, is a massive drive in terms of having 
tech as your you know underbelly as a business to enable you to scale up okay. and these are all indicators that investors are constantly looking for and searching for and you know even as we speak you know deals are being done by investors so mm -hmm. it, it, it's not like nothing's happening things are happening it's just that you you need to as a business owner um know what your strategic plans are how you're going to plug into the opportunities and how you're going to prepare for this. Okay, uh, and just under one minute, if you can, so how do people connect with you if they need advice? What can they do? They can actually reach out to us via our website and all of our social media platforms. So our website is wearescaleupafrica.com. Um, all the information in terms of our service and what we do and also about the actual festival that we're running on the 6th of August, they're able to tap into our social media platforms on Twitter, LinkedIn, YouTube, and Facebook. And it's all, um, the handle is Scale Up Africa. So they can reach out to us on those platforms. Our email addresses are all kind of on there for them to be able to get in touch with us. And there'll be lots of workshops and interactive sessions for them to also go through the motions of preparing their businesses for the next stage of building back better. All right. Thank you so much, ladies.